Yeah, it is really simple. You have like an in ear contains a transmitter, with it, which is stationary. The receiver has a headphone connector, like 3.5 millimeters as standard in the market. And normally the transmitters you're sending your signal in has XLR connection, so you can go out of your mixing desk two lines XLR into this transmitter. Yeah, and if you don't have that many auxes, you can do mono. Usually you just True. go into the left side yeah. and it'll play a mono feed yeah. for them. So yeah, I mean, if you have four people on stage, it's just the same as a wedge. Um, instead of going out of your console into four amplifiers that go into four wedges, you go out of your console into four transmitters and those broadcast to four receivers. And even, uh, and there is like, Another option, if you go mono completely, you don't need four transmitters because uh, on um, uh, on the Sennheiser in-ear systems, we have this focus mode where you can like just use one of the channels you're receiving and like having one transmitter, two receivers and have two monos, two separate mono mixes then. I see. So you, yeah, that's a good point with a, with most wireless microphone systems, you have a transceiver, or I'm sorry, a transmitter, and that goes to one receiver. Yeah. But with IENs, you can have one transmitter that can be picked up by as many receivers, really, as There's, you want. Yeah, yeah, this is like, it's a broadcast mode, yeah. so to say. It's like um, like radio, you're broadcasting your signal and you can pick it up with with as many receivers as you want. Yeah, so if you only have the resources to make one mix for the whole band, yeah. you could have four receivers with one transmitter and they could all tune into that same thing. Or you have a show act, like one person singing, half playback, and like four dancers. They have to get where the music is, that they can do the moves on time, and then you would have one mix for the singer and another mix for all the dancers because they have the same requirements in the end. Yeah, and that can be done, you're saying, with one stereo if, transmitter. If this, is, focus if this is two mono yeah. mixes, you can you can use one transmitter and like whatever amount of belt packs you want to use. Yeah, awesome. And if, just in case, you know, I want everybody who watches this to understand, if you had a stereo mix for four people, that'd be eight channels out of your mixer into four stereo transmitters because each person gets a left and a right. Those are separate mixes, kind of. You would probably treat those as a stereo pair in your console, mm -hmm. but they're two separate audio channels. Um, and what we're saying is that you can pair that down to where it's just using half of that, basically. Just mono signal gets sent to both left and right. If you buy an in-ear system, uh, one thing is like, buy a good pair of headphones. or not a pair, it's buy good headphones. It's, um, it's, it's, it's really coming down to a good sound. If you have good wireless transmission, that's the first thing, but you also need good headphones. Don't use this crappy Air AirPort $5 things to, to, to use uh, IEM, IEM sound on stage. It yeah. doesn't make sense. And the other thing is if you're a small band and traveling through clubs, could make sense to invest in a little mixer, um, put it in a rack, and also a splitter to split your signals you're using. And then you can carry your own IEM rack. You have the same stable mix every day, have a splitter in that the local front of house guy can deal with the signals. And like having a small mixing console with an iPad remote or something like that. And so you would have a set of really stable control system with you. And it's like 19 inch, I don't know how many rec units. It's like seven to eight rec units yeah. would make it depending on your count of channels. Yeah. Yeah. And you could, if you wanted it to be even more consistent, you could bring your own mics and all of this, but even if you don't, I mean, you basically set the, you set up the mics, you set the gain and the mix, as long as you get consistent gains from, from night to night, 
it'll all automatically happen. And, and trust me, the house person will probably be happy. They, they don't have to mix monitors. They don't have to yeah. deal with stage volume. Right. And you're going to be a happy performer, and you guys will sound good, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, and, and house people normally don't know how, how, how people are. How people are. If I meet you the first time on stage, I don't know how to, how to treat, you, treat you right. It's, it's more like if you can control monitors by yourself, it makes absolutely sense to do it because he, the house guy has a taste of sound, has a, a good education at doing sound, and you can deal with the sound for the audience. It's not distracted by any like emotional topics with the artists together. Yeah. Not everybody can afford to hire a monitor mixing engineer to travel with them, but maybe the next best thing is doing your own monitors in the way you've described. Mm -hmm. Bring your own IEM rig, it's consistent night to night, you have control over it, yeah. and you don't have to rely on someone you just met yeah. to do it. Now, as a former house sound engineer, practice good people skills. If you're gonna do that, um, ask nicely. You know, it is their, their place, and just say, hey, we brought this, would you mind if we yeah. plugged into our splitter and then give you feeds of each mic to mix for front of house, and we'll do our own monitors. Yeah. Like so, I said, most people would be happy to hear that, but if you come in and you say, "Hey, this is what we're doing." We're yeah, it's like it's like kind of the first rule being on tour is yeah. like be a nice person. Because yeah. um, remember, this person is in control of the most important mix, which is what your audience is hearing. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate you sharing these tips. Uh, I think IEMs are the way to go, and I hope that maybe five, ten years down the line, where everyone's using them and shows will sound a lot better. Uh, people's ears will be safe and the, the musicians will perform better because they feel more comfortable on stage.